Hi, this is Artifax Mars coming to you from the frozen plains of sunny western New York State. And we're going to look at this photo that we see right here, which supposedly shows a humanoid bending over Curiosity rover. And we're going to study this and see if we can determine what the case is here. First of all, we're going to identify it. This has been identified as left and right navigation cameras that are mounted on the mast on Curiosity. Left and right, respectively. respectively. Um, so the right one's on the right, left one's on the left. Got that? I would hope so. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to study these and study some angles and see if this could possibly be the arm or something else. And I think you're going to be interested in the results. I hope so. Now, you can forget about rack outcroppings. We can eliminate that. We're not seeing a rack outcropping because there isn't any anywhere near the rover in these photos. The time of day was, I think on Mars, was about roughly 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So the sun's pretty high in the sky. And so you see the uh, shadow from the mast, and that's not terribly uh, long because the sky is the sun is very high in the sky. Alright. So, what we're going to have to do is see what directions are before we can do anything else. We're going to uh, draw that on the video and show you right now. Now, I can tell if you see this. This is the arm on the rover, and I'm going to show you a picture of that. That is running parallel to the front of the rover as near as I can tell, because I believe that the hand, which is packed full of scientific instruments, and it's more or less rectangular, I believe that is stowed on top of the rover, which they do to keep it from getting worn out from bo bouncing around all over the planet. Then they stop and they unfurl the thing and use it to conduct experiments. So that's part of the r rover, legitimately. And if you notice down here, this thing seems to correspond with it. Alright? And I've been able to determine that this, in fact, is the approximate direction of the sun. Beca you know, by looking at these, and by looking at the rocks, by the way, uh, the direction of the sun is obvious from the uh, shadows underneath the rocks. So, the sun's running about 45 degrees across this uh, photo. And the roller is going about 45 degrees uh, to the left. I'll do another arrow. I'm using some software that I'm not really familiar with yet, but in some respects. But this is the direction of rover. That's Mars Science Laboratory. And this is the sun direction. Alright, you got that? This is vital that we understand this. Okay. I'm going to erase this and... We're going to take a look at some other stuff here. We're going to take a look at the front of the rover when the uh, arm
arm is skewered on top of it. I'm going to erase that. I'm going to put this on pause for a second because it's been uncooperative today. Okay, this is what I mean. Uh, see, this tucks up under... Tucks up right on here. We'll draw this again. That's the hand. And it attaches. You can see these uh, joints. And this thing swivels all all around the place. It's uh, pretty remarkable, actually. But it's tucked on underneath here so that this would be the bottom. If they unfurl it, this arm, part of the arm, would go up. Go off in that direction, and the other one will go in the other direction. Got it so far? Well, it's tucked here, and you see it's roughly rectangular. It's got a bunch of ins instruments on it, and judging from what I'm seeing, I don't think it could uh, go in that direction very easily. So I believe, judging from the photo, and from the fact that we can see this arm, that more than likely is tucked right on top of the rover. And that's an important distinction. You got that? Alright. We go back to other photos now. Hold on, please. Okay, I'm getting a little more in the way of cooperation. Now... So, to recap, the sun's angle is approximately like this. It's witnessed by what we've seen here. Rover's angle is like that. So, where does this shadow come from? Well, it wouldn't be possible for it to be from that hand if it is tucked on top of the rover, right? Because the direction of the shadow is inconsistent with the direction of the sun. So, whatever this thing is, it's either out in front of the rover, which I don't believe it is, or it's higher. In fact, it's most of the way up to the nav can on the height of the mast. Well, it's fairly high. It might be four or five feet high. Whatever the thing is. Is it a humanoid? I don't know. But, judging from what I'm looking at here, just looking at, uh, draw a straight line, but, uh, judging from what I'm seeing here, the angle of the sun would seem to indicate there's nothing there, as far as the rover goes, to cast a shadow. There's nothing in that facility to cast a shadow. Alright. That's better. I mean, this is the approximate angle of the sun. And we don't get anything past this arm. This arm really is part of the uh, rover. That's the arm that I showed you in the other photo. There's one of the joints. I'm going to switch tools. 
So this thing is outside of the plane of that arm. Remember, we're looking down. We're not. Lo we're looking fairly well down because it's two o'clock in, in March in the afternoon. It's outside of the plane of this thing. But the point here is that it's extremely unlikely that we're seeing the uh, hand. Because the problem is it extends way down here. I don't think it's the hand we're seeing. Because it doesn't match. I'll bring that back up. And we'll show you again this photo. I don't think it matches the hand. Just one sec. There's a hand again. It's not really a hand. And it just does not seem to... I don't think it matches up at all. We'll draw... software has some tools on it. That's a hand, basically. It doesn't look anything like it. It's roughly rectangular. But the problem is that I don't think it can really go off to the right like that. So what we're looking at here in these photos, I believe, is I don't know if it's an alien or what it is. I'm not saying this is an alien or anything, but it just it's exceedingly unlikely that we're seeing part seeing uh part of the rover there. It's almost, it almost has to be something separate from the rover. Um, I don't see any other alternative. I'm sorry. Of course, the debunkers immediately said it was just part of the rover. Uh, I've been digging on this photo for well over a week trying to figure out what was going on with it. And like I said, judging from the sun angle and the fact that the thing furthest from the front of the rover should be this arm, and then we have distance beyond it. No, I don't believe it's part of the rover, so there is something wrong. You know, there's something seriously wrong with this picture. That's my opinion. I'm giving this about 90% probability that we're seeing someone or something bending over the uh, rover and doing some work on it, or just checking out, or whatever. 90% chance, give or take. Now you can take it or leave it, I don't care. I'm just going by the sun angles and the angles of the rover and how the equipment operates. And what I'm saying is rovers should not be able, under these circumstances, to cast a shadow. It's inconsistent with that hand. And it's beyond the uh, 
chassis of the uh, rover. It's not a wheel or anything like that. The wheels would have a uh, just basically a square pattern to them. So I'd say Paranormal Crucible's got a point. I agree with them to an extent. Um, I think uh, we do have a problem here. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. And remember that you are not being told the truth about Mars or anything else. Many other things. You're not being told the truth. Period. And then the subject. So study those photos. Get your drones ready to uh, investigate UFOs. And let's do this thing. I'm Artifacts of Mars.